Hello, my name is uh, Rikke Hansen. Hello, and my name is um, Barnabas Wetten. Um, we're both from Denmark, or representing Denmark, and we were really interested to start with actually what was one of the first things that was said at this, the conference this morning by Santosh, that design is a young science. And we're particularly interested in this notion of design being a science. And we would also like to make a jump where we quote a Lebanese poet, as we sometimes do when we speak to our students, that work is love made visible by Khalil Gibran. This is particularly interesting for us because when we speak to our students, we will say this. We will say making is thinking. And we will also say you are a doctor and a lover. We're particularly interested in the balance that goes between the scientific, how we might use our intellect to approach the world, but how we might also use ourselves as loving, creative humans embodied in flesh. And through that, actually make something exciting. Now, by show of hands, has anybody heard of a website called YouTube? Not everybody. Interesting. I think some of you should check it out. Have you, any, by show of hands, has anybody heard of a website called, called SoundCloud? Okay, almost as many have heard of YouTube. For those of you who don't know it, sound, YouTube is for videos, what SoundCloud is for sound. And SoundCloud were interested in approaching us and they asked us this very open-ended question. How can we create new interactions with sound when it is online? Most of you are thinking now, but we have come to, to a typography conference. What we'd like to do now, and I'm going to give the word to Rekha, is show how it is that we use typography as a way of developing interactions around sound, but by embodying it. Remember, what it is that we spoke about is that ourselves as doctors and lovers, intellectual and feeling human beings. Yes, so this was a course we did with second year students. Um, it was a cross-disciplinary course in two weeks. We had students from graphic design, illustration and interaction design working together in groups. And the video showing here is just one of the prototypes they quickly was doing in terms of finding out how can you browse through uh, music. And what we specifically asked the students to consider is how to consider the issue of space in a web-based service. What does space mean in, the, in this context of the net? How does illustration and typography impact on the project such as this? And how does one consider the relationship between images and typography? How does your input mean that SoundCloud is any different from services like YouTube or Vimeo? And what it, is that, what it is that you can see here are a number of the first experiments that the students made. We return specifically to the thinking, to, to the process of saying making is thinking. Well, different ways to approach in an embodied, playful way how they might express the notion of sound. So a lot of different experiments um, was done by the student and different uh, investigations in terms of understanding what is, what is music. And the, the students were collecting things, try to touch it, uh, to feel music. They were doing personas. They were finding things that actually produce music. They were trying to draw it. Uh, they were investigating what kind of shangers are you playing in different countries. How does music look like when you are putting it, uh, converting it into typography? And we also asked the students to try to simply body storm uh, and do this uh, kind of tests. Now we'll see if we have sound. <laughs> Now, 
At the school where we worked, Design School and Colling, we make a very, very specific distinction between the term brainstorming. By show of hands, you know the word brainstorming? Getting it in your head. How many of you have heard of a notion called body storming? One. One of you. Body storming is not thinking about how you might approach a problem, but by recognizing that we are, as I said earlier, embodied human beings. And the greater part of our communication and understanding will exist in the haptic experience of what it means to be in yourself and most importantly, with each other. And so we asked the students to dance, to body storm, and feel what this might be. Previously, we've done a great deal of work with robotics and blood-taking robots, believe it or not, where we use the same process of body storming as a way of approaching what kind of relationships we might build between robots and humans when their skin is going to be penetrated by something sharp. What we're going to be showing you now is an image of how that same body storming thinking can then relate to typographical development. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Pack, pack, pack. And simply tracking uh, these movements in terms of finding out, is this something that we could use and develop a uh, visual uh, language? Now I'm going to uh, jump a little bit, because another thing we also introduced the students to was uh, Patrick uh, Jordan's uh, pleasures, which involves uh, practical, emotional, and hedonic benefits associated with products. Because we wanted to task our students to try to think this this concept that I'm going to develop in, 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 uh, in different way, you have a, another angle uh, in uh, looking at it. So basically, practical benefit is uh, when you are thinking of um, a washing machine, it has to perform um, making fresh clothes. When you're looking at hedonic uh, benefits, it's the sensory and aesthetic pleasure associated by products like, for instance, your iPhone. And then also the emotional benefits. How is this emotional going to, this product that you're going to do? Um, when we're thinking of computer games, which is exciting and fun, how, how is this uh, browse when you're going to search for music? How, how, what kind of experience do you want uh, to have? So the students use this model and for themselves to define, in terms of having a purpose, what, what were they going to, uh, to do with, the, with their different projects? And this is one example of uh, the students trying to define what kind of practical uh, and hedonic and emotional uh, benefits they would they like their, their product to, uh, to involve. And again, developing a different kind of visual uh, languages. This is uh, one of the groups uh, looking into the visual development. And you, so you can see that from that, what it is that we're trying to develop is a thesis that says through body storming, through under, understanding ourselves as embodied humans, we're then able to take typography as a particular starting point. This typography went in through dance, through all sorts of other activities that we saw, pushed it up to the intellect and to produce typography as such. But what we chose to do was to create typographies that could represent coming meaningful interactions. This, um, the, typography, the typography you can see here was, was grew out of absolutely that process and it became the following interaction.
as you can see from this short presentation film, what this ended with was a way of opening up the tracks and putting your own notifications, your own tabs on what it is that you saw, where you're able to speak to other users of SoundCloud, as well as speak to the creators of the sound itself. And then having uh, both the, the digital interface and also the posters which were supposed to be out in, uh, in the city. This is just quickly short another uh, experiment of the students trying to develop a typographic uh, expression. Which ended in uh, this little movie. And the last thing we're going to show you is uh, this uh, project done by a group. Um, it was called Listen to Your City, and they did this interactive uh, posters. Every time when people walk by, it, it would move. And it actually came from, uh, again, testing different kinds of, because we had the interaction designers working with the graphic designers, they were building uh, Arduino, and they were trying to put music to it in terms of uh, doing different kinds of visual uh, expressions. They also uh, took uh, typography and put it into the scanner, and they were scanning it while moving it and listening to the different kinds of uh, music. And the last thing they also did was making um, an app, developing a front end and a back end for this app, which the concept was you were walking around in your city, and you could, diff dependent on where you were walking, you could hear uh, the specific music played in this, in this um, city. So you're having your app, and you're going around in the city, and then it would, the city, depending on if you hear rock, rock or techno, you would get a new experience by moving uh, into the city. So this is the final uh, movie this group made uh, trying to, to communicate this uh, project. Every city has its own rhythm. And every place has a beat. If you search for it, you'll find music everywhere. Stay off the block, niggas. This is the new way to explore music. Soundscape geotags the music that's played on SoundCloud and maps it into musical environments. When moving around the city, you can listen to the music attached to your specific location. And this enables you to rediscover your city and explore new music. Music's never been closer. Listen to your city. Thank you.